On behalf of the Harborview High School graduating class of 2023, we respectfully acknowledge that Harborview High School stands on the unsurrendered and unceded traditional territory of the Wallistigwe, Pescadomagadie, and Mi'kmaq peoples. This territory is covered by the Treaties of Peace and Friendship, which the Wabanaki peoples first signed with the British Crown in 1725. The treaties did not deal with the surrender of lands and resources, but in fact recognized Wallistigwe, Mi'kmaq, and Pescadomagadie title and established the rules for what was to be an ongoing relationship between nations. Hello graduates, families and friends. My name is Patrick McDade and I'm the principal of Harborview High School. It is my honor to welcome you to our 2023 graduation celebration. I want to first take a moment to thank our staff who serve the students of Harborview tirelessly all year long. I would also like to thank our student grad class committee for their work in bringing the grads together this year, to our teacher reps that supported events and activities, and to our full staff who all play a part in our prom and graduation celebrations. It could not happen without the helping hands of so many. What a year it has been. We saw all of our programming return to our lives over the last 10 months, and since tryouts in August for our musical and fall sports, it has been a sprint all through the year to this point. And we wouldn't want it any other way, but I don't think anyone is complaining that summer break is here. It was a year of connections, achievements, and celebrations, which leads us to this point. Our opportunity to recognize our Harborview High School graduating class of 2023. To our graduates, I hope you all know how proud we are of your accomplishments. You inspire us with your ambition and keep us motivated to push for the best from the classes who will follow behind you over the years. I encourage you to take your time and enjoy these few weeks before the next step in your journey begins. Love the people who support you and recognize how they have helped you to arrive here today. Be sure to also take pride in your own grit and determination because that's all you. And it's okay to pat yourselves on the back every once in a while. We look forward to hearing about all that you accomplish in the years to come. And we want you to know that we will always be proud of the connection we have to you moving forward as collective members of the Harborview family. So once again, congratulations, class of 2023. Please enjoy this graduation celebration as our final tribute to an amazing group of Harborview graduates. I wish you nothing but the best moving forward. Thank you. Hello, graduates, family members, friends, and other Viking community members. My name is Jennifer Brown. I am a teacher here at Harborview High School, and I have the pleasure of being part of this year's graduation celebration. Let me first express my warmest congratulations to all of the graduates who have successfully gone through a phase of study that lays the foundation of lifelong learning. I have had the opportunity to teach or work in some capacity with many of you. Although I may have taught you some math along the way, please know that you folks have taught me many lessons I will never forget. I am sure I speak for the entire Harborview staff when I say that while we are in formal positions in education, students continually enhance our lives in ways they may never know. While school is undoubtedly known to provide support for students to develop and grow, 
Without a support system of family, friends, and other people around us throughout our lives, many things become much more difficult to achieve. I would like the class of 2023 to take a moment and thank their inner circle of supporters, both near and far, for their unwavering support over the course of their formal education journey. Look at you now, eager young adults ready to take on the world. Although grade nine may seem like forever ago, I'm sure these past four years, or a little bit longer for some, may have flown by. You have been through a lot of challenging firsts, like the first year of high school when you had no idea what was in store for you. In your grade nine year, you persevered and survived the lockdown of 2020, overcoming the many obstacles of the pandemic that were thrown your way, most of which were well beyond the scope of the classroom. In grade 10, you navigated your way through A to L and M to Z days, Teams calls and online assignments. Grade 11 saw even more lockdowns, but now, as the class of 2023, you have risen to the occasion, surviving it all, ready for whatever twists and turns life may bring you. I imagine many of you have those same feelings of uncertainty now as you did when you first became a Viking in grade 9. Some of you may be off to post secondary studies on your own for the very first time. Some of you may be off to the workforce. And some of you might be thinking, now what? Take a deep breath and remember this special place we call Harborview High School. Remember the community you will forever be a part of. Remember that no matter how near or far your adventures in life may take you, you will always belong here at Harborview and you will forever be a part of our Viking family. Each of you has your own story and each of you belongs here and each of you will carry our Viking family values with you for the rest of your days. You are resilient, you are strong, you are daring, you are Vikings, and you invented yourself here. Hats off to you, class of 2023. We will now have greetings from the French department delivered by Madame Janice Chevary McNeil. Madame Chevary has been a Viking for 25 years, and our Viking family wishes her all the best in her retirement this June. Bonsoir, chers parents, amis, invités, membres du personnel et bien sûr les élèves, nos finissants et finissantes de 2023. C'est avec le plus grand plaisir que je vous souhaite à toutes et à tous la bienvenue de, en ce jour de célébration avec vos familles et vos amis, virtuellement, à notre belle école de Harborview. Aujourd'hui, avec vos diplômes en main, après votre cérémonie de remise des diplômes académiques, j'espère que vous me rejoindrez à célébrer et de reconnaître vos réussites à, et ceux de vos camarades de classe. Prenez un moment d'arrêter, prendre un grand souffle et savourer du fait que vous avez accompli une, une des plus grandes étapes de votre éducation et que là, vous commencez le prochain défi. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, sans plus attarder, je vous dis merci et je vous souhaite la bienvenue. The salutatory is delivered by the student with the second highest academic average. Quite an accomplishment. I had the opportunity to teach this student in math and watch them grow into the wonderful young adult they are today. Ella Melvin is one special human who always looks out for others before themselves and never backs down, even when things get tough. Ella was fearless in math class, always looking for new challenges. She also has a competitive edge that not only comes out on the basketball court, but in the classroom too. Her smile is contagious and she brightens up a room when she walks in. I reached out to colleagues to gain some more insight into Ella's journey here at Harborview. The common themes of kindness, caring, hardworking, wise and considerate, just to name a few, all emerged. Mrs. Squires said that Ella goes out of her way to include everyone on a team or in a group. She is caring and really makes sure that everyone is seen and heard. Mr. Palmer said that Ella is the glue that holds the basketball team together, always positively encouraging her teammates, helping make them better. I have seen, them, seen this in the classroom as well. Ms. Taylor echoed these sentiments, saying that Ella is one, of her, is one that her peers admire and respect. Ms. Oram says that Ella is a student who leads with her heart and this is why she is beloved by her, amongst her teachers and peers. Her passion is books and cats, so if she can find a career in this field, she will be all set. Ms. Mullen said that Ella is one of those people who just make the world a better place. 
In physics, she was brilliant, analytical, detailed, creative, and thorough. She often was the first one in the room to grasp a new concept, but she was never bold, brash, or overbearing about it. If I hadn't been looking for her, I might not have realized that while others were more vocal, she had quietly figured it out and was showing those around her what to do. Ella is off to UMB Fredericton in the fall to pursue an arts program, and we at Harborview wish you all the best. Friends and family, please welcome this year's salutatorian, Ella Melvin. Welcome distinguished guests, Mr. McDade, Harborview staff, fellow graduates, and family. My name is Ella Melvin, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2023 Harborview graduation. This is a day to celebrate the achievements and accolades of our graduates. We've had many struggles throughout our years in high school, but we have persevered and left our mark on the school. Through innovation and hard work, we have turned these difficult years into years that we will look back on fondly. However, graduation is not a solo effort. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to extend my thanks to the coaches, arts directors, and club leaders. You have gone above and beyond to donate your time and effort to make each year special. You've instilled the values of teamwork, leadership, self-expression, and pride into your students, and have made school a joyful place to be. Many graduates will be going on to excel in a passion that they have learned from you. I would also like to thank the teachers. Graduation truly would not have been possible without you. Not only did you teach your students the fundamentals to succeed academically, but you also taught us how to succeed in the world. You pushed us to be the best we could be and helped every student become the Viking they needed to be. You celebrate and inspire your students and show that perfection is not the end goal, as much as some of us are convinced it is. This graduating class is filled with kind, passionate, innovative, creative, and brilliant young adults ready to take the world by storm, thanks to you. Finally, a heartfelt thank you needs to be extended to the parents, guardians, and supporters of our graduates. It probably feels like yesterday that you were teaching us to tie our shoes for the first day of school, and now you're helping us put on our caps and gowns to walk across the stage and receive our diploma. You put us on the school bus, you packed our lunches, you wiped our tears, and you put band-aids on our knees and on our hearts. Thank you for the endless drives to activities, for cheering from the bleachers, for standing ovations, and for supporting our dreams. You have held our hands and been our guides along this journey of life. But the time has come to let us go, to watch us cross the stage, and to continue on our own adventure. Now it is time to sit back and celebrate your Harborview graduate.
The valedictorian is the student with the highest academic average. Matthew Martin is brilliant, but is also one of the most unassuming students I have ever met. He is a man of few words, but when he speaks, people listen. Miss Oram echoes this and says that she is pretty sure he flies under his own radar. He is one of the most diligent students she has ever worked with. He wants to succeed, but he knows that su success comes with hard, often meticulous work. I saw this as well as the AP coordinator, watching him tackle several AP courses, some of which were on his own. This takes discipline and commitment that a lot of young adults haven't figured out yet. Mrs. Gallagher talked about Matthew in culinary tech class, a passion of Matthew's I think many of us were unaware of. She said that she pretty quickly saw that Matthew approached each recipe with the dedication of a Michelin star chef. But when she read some very eloquent and kind words that he had written to her on the back of his grad photo, she thought to herself, if she could bake like Matthew writes, she would be calling herself Julia Child. Matthew will always be a gentleman, a scholar, and a baker in her books. Mr. Bidgood said that Matthew is a confident, diligent, and very polite young man. He is pleased to report that although Matthew is a quiet individual, he has always been prepared to argue with him as to whether the question was fair or not in, his, in the first place. His grasp of scientific concepts is sharp and his application of the theory to practical situations is excellent. His smile shows his enjoyment of a challenge, especially when Mr. Bidgood would try to expose any imperfection in his answers, which he usually showed were ungrounded. A pleasure to teach. Matthew plans to study engineering this coming fall at Dalhousie University in Halifax. Harborview wishes you all the best and we hope that you continue to not only challenge yourself, but others around you. Friends and family, please welcome this year's valedictorian, Matthew Martin. To the guests, teachers, parents, family, friends, and most importantly, to the Harborview High School class of 2023. I think it's important to just go headfirst into this thing and to first and foremost congratulate each and every single one of you for being here right now, graduating from high school. In this grad class are 200 sets of eyes that have each seen, felt, and experienced a different side to the same school, the same classes, and the same people. But maybe those eyes didn't see it that way. In September of 2019, when most of us took our first steps into the big fat belly of this old ancient Viking beast. Back then, everything was so tall. Everyone looked so much older and that stage of life to be a senior seemed all so far away. But that time is now here. Things don't really seem so tall anymore. And isn't it crazy to think we are really that old? And now it seems that everything we had to look forward to since we were in the diapers, since the blood, sweat, and crayons that went into keeping our coloring inside the lines, they are now but totems of a past that will only exist in memory forever. I'm not gonna ask you to reflect on your time here because what else are you gonna do, let's be real. But think about it. It took four years for this big juicy belly to digest us. Four whole entire years of our lives. And now we are but the product of the struggles we faced and the hardships we overcame together in the belly of this beast morphed into the people we have always been destined to be. Remnants of these defining memories are scattered all around this place. In the 8 a.m. band practices, in the falling asleep in the middle of online class, and waking up to nobody but the other fallen soldiers sleeping along with you. Even the worst, most mundane memories should be remembered with great pride, as even these small moments have made us into who we are today. The man, the myth, the legend, Ian Duffy Dow once said, why have brains when we have calculators? While there might be a Nobel Prize with Ian's name on it, I don't think a calculator could ever begin to compute the sentimental value beholden to these last four years or even 12 years of school. Because as much as today is a funeral for those drooling, bumbling buffoons we call our younger selves, it is also the coronation for the singular spirit will forever embody. The spirit whose blood has trickled through the homeroom gingerbread house competitions, where six pieces of gingerbread and a pack of icing turned all of our minds into machines. Through my AP chemistry class, where the science of heated ice cubes melted all of our brains in a one. 
And even in the occasional pep rally, where Ben Timmons and Aiden Crowley turned uh, questionable competitions into a sense of camaraderie and sent its looming cheer and spirit echoing throughout the crowd. In all of its awful and confusing ways, our struggle to overcome and survive the challenges that come our way has always had the paramount quality of bringing us all closer together. And now, on the day to end all school days, we collectively adorn ourselves in that indomitable Viking spirit we will never quite be able to leave behind, even after our goodbyes, long, long after we're gone. In all seriousness, it's not like our eyes will stop seeing, our feet will stop moving, or our brains will stop thinking, just because the sights we are seeing and the paths we are walking are not the halls of Harborview High School. And even if the school exploded into a million pieces, our connection to this building, whether that be the first floor boys washroom, maybe even the second floor boys washroom, or possibly even the third floor boys washroom, our connection with the people who share these spaces with us will surely extend far beyond even the foreseeable future. I'm certain of that. You don't need a Madame Roy Searle right next to you to know how to speak French. You don't need a Madame Brown with you to know how to add two numbers together. You don't need Mr. Sprague's dog, Walter the Great, to know that animals exist and are real. Actually, maybe you do. But you also don't need a school to know that these people mean something to you and that they will always have some sort of an impact on you no matter where you are. Inside each and every single one of you shines the light of a thousand suns. And the sky could never think of being so blue without you. So no matter where we all end up, how far we all drift apart, it was pretty nice to be worn by each other, all orbiting, even if only for a moment, this old unconventional building that is in all reality nothing but a school. But whatever today means to you, let it mean something. Let yourself enjoy this. It literally only comes once in a lifetime. And what else is there to do but thank everyone? Thank everyone for the time, the memories, the lessons, and even the hardships. And to the class of 2023, thank you for all of these years and congratulations on graduating. It's a pretty big deal. And the future is all that kind of remains ahead of us. So before we go, I think it's important to remember just how fortunate we are to simply be here together. So no matter if it's a good riddance, a see you later, maybe even a see you never, sometimes the greatest pleasure is truly just to say goodbye.